<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, welcome to another wonderful recording, bleh, something was flying in my face, of Disgaea 6, where we last left off, we have found out some more hidden um, background story of uh, Overlord Ivar and Misual, the face behind the dog, which, as we know, was Cerberus, but their real name is Super Sage Mijual, the one who created not only Super Reincarnation, but the God of Destruction itself, and has been doing this to numerous amount of people. And we are right now traversing through the ice world of, uh, the ice netherworld, I mean, to chase after him to hopefully save Biko once again. Where do you wish to go? We have been going through facing off against numerous enemies, and we are heading to the next area, which is Winter Wind. Let us see what we have in store for us here. Stop right there, Prism Rangers! That is a familiar voice! <gasps> that voice! The vile villainy super squad ruffian rangers are here to rough you up. I find it funny that he's like saying that they're he's part of the ruffian rangers, but it's only him. I mean, yeah, like Piori is part of the Prism Rangers, and she's the only official Prism Ranger, even though she recruited us as Prism Rangers. Still, though, I find that so odd that like he's literally not with others that are part of the ruffian rangers that's just so confusing to me ruffian red is this where my former rival rushes to provide assistance when we need it S sorry but that's not why i'm here mm. <laughs> it's been a while dear sister here we go the gathering of enemies naive Lord Mishuel agreed that bringing a tragic ending to all was a wonderful idea. He praised me so. I'm sure he did just to butter you up. You might call us kindred spirits. And since you're in his way, I've come to get rid of you all. Hmm. Huh. So Mishuel has taken advantage of her warped heart, has he? Yep. Hey! Where's Biko? Hand her over right now! <laughs> Aw, she's already reincarnated elsewhere with Lord Mijual. If only you'd arrived sooner. Don't worry, we'll catch up to him, I assure you, after I kick your booty. What? Still don't understand. This world is just a trap to wear you down. Nothing more, nothing less. Ruffian Red! Are you in on this too? I... I... Looks to be. Oh, not at all. He's being forced to do this in order to save the good children we've taken hostage. That still doesn't mean he's not part of this. I mean, even though, yeah, like, he's trying to do it to save the children, he's, he's still being pushed to do it. Therefore, he's being forced to be a part of it. I'm not saying he's a bad guy for it, because he's being forced to. It's against his will. Because he's doing it to save the children, but still. I'm sorry, Prism Red. I have to defeat you. To save the kids! Oh, that's low, even for you, Naive. You won't get away with this! No, she won't. Now let's kick her booty. You guys think you're gonna stop us? Well, we're about to charge you. Let's go! Time to break through their defensive wall of crab. And also, take whatever we can get. Because you never know who we will weaken. Took someone's axe and armor. Two good things. Yeah. Break the line. I shall lend you my strength. Turn to dust. That's right. This is nothing. I'll oh, back the you rhythm up. of my song, Prism Accelerator. It's only hitting one, but that's fine. I needed her to get to the other side, because we're having three of them break through the line. Piori, Wolfie, and Drop. Yeah. 
That's right. This is nothing. Uh, yeah, I'll go too. Very well. Charge! Yeah, chicken outfit, bitch. <laughs> You're gonna regret doing that. Do make a good meal. Told you. And now. With our final attack, I shall have these two move forward and strike the enemy down with the power of ice. Follow me. Well, we're probably not going to kill them, but we are going to hurt them. Attack! Yeah. My turn, huh? Okay, so right now they're aiming at Piori. I think they're really only gonna attack Piori. Holy crap, I think they're only gonna attack Piori. They are. They're only going to attack Piori. Wow, they really don't like Piori. <clears throat> Even though there's two others right next to her. No. No, that's fine. That just means they're not going to expect us to kick their asses with the other two. No. But I'm going to need to really heal Piori quick. Like an action movie. She's sustaining a lot of damage, though. <clears throat> And last attack. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow. Okay, magic hurts a little bit more. There we go. There you go. Eh, hey, good. You got rid of one of them. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Cause we got our amazing healer, Mizador. Use these barrels as bandages. All right, everyone. It's time, for just time to finish them off. Ah! Come on, finish them off right here. Let's do it. Come on. Are you ready? There we go. That should get her out of harm's way as everyone else aims their AoEs at all of them. Coming. Yeah. That's right. I timed that perfectly. All according to Kikaku. That's right. All according to Kikaku. AoEs upon AoEs! <clears throat> I'm ensuring all of you die! Goodbye, oh, assistance. Oh, oh. This one's hitting one target, but that's fine. Undefeatable! Ultimate eye for attack! I'll send you to the edge of the Come universe. on, Zed, finish him off! Blow! Oh yeah! All in one go! They didn't even get a chance of getting more reinforcements. We wiped them out. Aw, you lost. Looks like the Ruffian Rangers got cancelled. What a sour ending. Hold on a second. What's going to happen to the good little boys and girls who are taken hostage? Go bye-bye, perhaps. Who cares? That's awful! Naive, 
Where is your dignity as a princess? Did you sell it along with your soul? Please, just give me one more chance to save the kids. Ruffian Red. Very well. I suppose I'll give you another chance. I won't have my sister of all people questioning my dignity. Uh-oh, this is where things go bad. What's wrong, Ruffian Red? Don't come near me! Is he gonna poop? That's a strong poop! Ruffian Red is transforming into a god of destruction. Ah. <laughs> okay, so he's not constipated. Ruffian of Destruction has appeared. This can't be happening! Ruffian Red turned into a god of destruction! This is just great. Damn you, Cerberus! Getting straight into another battle would be perilous. We should retreat for now and reorganize. I agree. Let's go and see what Peori and them have to say first, and then we'll get straight into it. Ruffian Red sure is amazing. He used to be just a henchman. He didn't even have a name. But now he's got a name and a show. Weren't the Ruffian Rangers created to fill the void you left, Peori? That's true, but... This is a classic rags to riches story, where Rags works his butt off behind the scenes. If Ruffian Red was just another random side character, they would have never trusted him to step into the lead role. He knew a lot about the previous Prism Red as well. He must have been a secret admirer of Justice for quite some time. He was made to see those sweet children taken hostage, then forced to fight as a god of destruction. It's simply heart-wrenching. Oh, it does indeed bring tears to my eyes. I could never despise such a positive male role model. Curse you, Mishuel. How could you do such awful things in the name of vengeance? I'm worth it, but still. Ruffian Red is definitely an ally of justice. All he wants to do is protect the good little boys and girls. No matter what happens, we need to save him. And save him we shall, but first someone else has something to say. Which is Melodia. I can't believe Naive. Turning someone into a god of destruction is not the right way to prove one's dignity as a princess. I mean, if you're gonna bring up stupid stuff princesses did... I've never done anything as bad as that, although I might have been just as single-minded as she. I was so concerned about my happy ending. I didn't know I had a sister, or that she was banned from the stage entirely. It's not right to lead everyone towards a bad ending, but I think I understand why she's so set on it. Yeah, no kidding. Prince Zed, could you not offer some words of comfort or a shoulder to cry on? Uh, what's important is what you want to do next? Is that good enough for you? <laughs> I suppose it'll have to do. Hmm, what do I want? I want us to make up and share the spotlight together. Naive is just as much of a princess as I. She deserves a happy ending, too. Great. Now that you've got it figured out, we should stop wasting time. Let's get going, Melodia. Oh, Prince Zed, you exude such a prickly exterior, but you've got a soft spot for me, too. Shut up, you don't know anything. It's just weird seeing Miss All About Me so bummed out over someone else. Hehehe, <laughs> always so bashful. I couldn't ask for a better prince. Maybe Naive can find one of her own someday, but that won't happen unless I stop her now. I find it so adorable how they have their little banter and spouts. So, me, let us do just that and see about helping D 
deal with this now new God of Destruction! In the next battle! Here we go! I can't believe Refian Red ended up becoming a God of Destruction! He must have had one of those cores planted inside him, just like Biko did. Stupid Cerberus. I wonder what other preparations he has in store for us. Whatever they are, they can't be good. Mishuel's research is based on the DNA of a super ancient Majin who almost destroyed all netherworlds in ages past. While it's unclear how that fool managed to obtain this Majin's DNA, that was supposedly the start of everything. So long as he possesses it, he'll most likely be able to create as many gods of destruction as he wishes. An ancient <coughs> Majin? No wonder they look so ominous. And it explains why all the gods of destruction look the same instead of all being unique. It's based off of a existing being whose DNA or genetics was taken by Mijuel for the creation. But who was that Majin? I'm actually curious of, because they had to have had a name. And, a, like, they had to have had a reason to exist besides being destructive. It's quite likely this ruffian of destruction is stronger than Biko was. Be careful now. That makes sense. The more powerful the sacrifice, the more powerful the god of destruction, right? Screw it. Let's just kill him. No, don't kill him! You can just take out the core and save him like you did for Biko! Ugh, fine. He just wants to be done with this so that we can continue on after Biko. Alright, Ruffian of Destruction, which he's just called God of Destruction. I think they should have made it where he's named off of the uh, the names he was given in the cutscene, but that's fine. So, let us now move on forward and face off against the God of Destruction. And now everyone attack! You and we're keeping Mizador on the back line in case someone needs to be healed. Pretty much saving SP. It's mine now. Let's go. Go. Super crispy. There we go. Let's do this together. Knock him Come on. Keep pelting him. That's right. No quarter. Beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, we did it. I shall lend you next. Huh? Turn to dust. Yes, turn to dust. I'm doing this for my students. Good, good. Yep. Can't forget to hit him with all of our magic. Oh, is Prism Red gonna finish him off here? And Prism Red finished him off. Dictionary. Excellent. Awesome. Oh All in one go. You actually managed to defeat Ruffian of Destruction. I'm impressed. I suppose it's a bad ending for me today. <laughs> Wait right there, Naive! I refuse. I must consult Lord Mijuel regarding the next stage. La la la, I'll see you when you turn the page. Hmm. <clears throat> Welcome back to the land of the living, Ruffian Red. Ruffian Red! I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, I guess I owe you guys a big one, huh? I'll make it up to you after I rescue all those hostages. I swear. Okay, it's a promise. And we have to rescue Biko. Come on, we're going after that stupid mutt. Prince Ed, wait. If you keep super reincarnating, <coughs> you could end up dying forever. Do you have any idea how sad that would make Biko? Not to mention how sad it would make me. 
Let's search for another way to save your sister. Please. She's right, you know. As someone who possesses the power of money, there must be some way I can contribute. Unless you can make a very fast, very powerful spaceship that can go to another world in a blink of an eye, I doubt we're going to be able to use money here. No. We've already wasted enough time. Biko can't wait any longer. Agreed. The best we can do to help Zed is to save Biko as soon as possible. Besides, all of you know better than most that Zed won't stop, no matter how hard you try to make him. Oh? You're decently insightful for an idiot. Don't call me an idiot! I'm always decent and insightful. Fine, fine. If we're set on going, we must make haste. Time is money, after all. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go, everyone. Super reincarnation! Here we go once again. Uh, am I falling apart? Is this because of super reincarnation? No. Even if my body's torn to shreds, I will save Biko. Come on, Zed. Just power through it. Act 2, Episode 2, Ending. Make you some good progress. Ivor learned the ability, face the formidable. All right, and skip that because I already have the saves. On Disgaea 6. Super reincarnated Zed and company found themselves in a brand new world. In a backwater town during the holiday season, young Zed and his beloved dog head to the cathedral during a blizzard. Beloved dog? What happened to wanting to kill me? Young Zed, upon gazing at the paintings he longed to see, was enraptured with a sudden calmness. Then he whispered, I have no more regrets. Oh, Cerberus, I'm so tired. That's okay. Go ahead and sleep. For all eternity! <laughs> I won't let you go, Cerberus. I'm dragging you down with me! Zed, you set me up? That's fine. Our true battle begins here. The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. Our true battle, huh? So this must be the last area. Hopefully it is. I guessed that during the last recordings, before all the crap happened. What a decrepit netherworld. That's so depressing. Oh, and the stench. Um, you might want to hold on those words. For your information, this is Pritzed and Biko's home. <clears throat> what? Are you telling me that Biko was raised in such a ramshackle environment? This is intolerable. I must prepare a world full of flowers for Biko immediately. Hey, dummy. Don't you think finding Biko is way more important right now? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Anyway, why the hell would Cerberus come back here? I said this in past recordings before all the crap happened to my computer. Well. Act 2. The truth comes out. Episode 3. Dawn of the Beacon. Okay. Uh, my thoughts about it is, I feel like the reason why he came back here is because when he probably came here to meet Biko to have his brain put into a dog's body, I feel like he made a secret lab in this world. That's what I'm betting. I don't know, but we're going to find out eventually. So let's go and talk to Melodia, see what she has to say. How are you doing, Prince Zed? Is your body holding up all right? I'm not gonna start falling apart. My body's completely fine. It's been a sad, stitched up mess for as long as I can remember. This isn't gonna make anything worse. But are you truly well, Prince Zed? I said I'm fine, didn't I? Quit worrying about it already. If you say so, and remember, don't push yourself beyond what you can bear. No! 
This interaction between the two of you warms my heart. It's as if the arrows of love have finally aimed true. You, you king of fool's gold, amend your statement at once. Yeah, you tell him. The arrows of love have aimed true from the beginning. As you very well know, we are only scenes away from a fabulous wedding finale. Oh, I knew I couldn't trust her. That's a lie, damn it! A lie! And on that note... La la la, here comes the bride already dressed in white. Shall I walk you down the aisle, O oh bride of the hour? Thank you for the offering. Knock it off! I'm not gonna let you drag me down the aisle like this! It's already set in stone, Zed. You must now marry Melodia. But hey, you should be happy about that. You'll be a true prince then, because you marry a royal. And that's how it has been back in the days. If a royal marries someone who is not of royal, they become royal then, as they become accepted and part of the royal family. So sweet. <laughs> but we're going to have to hold off on that wedding until after we defeat our enemy. And also we're going to have to hold off on all of that until the next episode because I am all out of time for this one. So, in the next episode, we are going to now continue forth through Zed's home world again. Which in this game, the world is called Zed's World Again. Thanks to Cerberus, Zed's home world is now beset by monsters and gods of destruction alike and we're gonna have to deal with them no doubt in numerous occasions so with that being said thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of content that uploads onto my channel and help support it and as always i'll see you in the next video take care all of you please have a wonderful safe and healthy day Bye bye everyone it's delicious